Civic Cabinet started in 1979. I took high school shop and I liked it a lot. Was working with my dad on the farm, needed a secondary income. Built a, a small building, about 3,500 square feet, doing residential work. Uh, in the early 80s, the residential market pretty much fell apart in this area, and so then we started into the commercial world. My first job was uh, about a $45,000 school project in Walla Walla, Washington, and it was at the time it was like 10 times larger than any other job I've ever done. And, uh, and then we, uh, we really kind of started into the commercial world. We made good money on the first job and we never really looked back. And we, you know, headstrong into the commercial. And probably about eight years later, after we started in the commercial, we completely dropped off on the residential. So we are 100% commercial cabinet company doing, uh, specializing in mainly uh, medical, healthcare, um, laboratory, and educational cabinets and, and fixtures. I started out in estimating and we were less than a $10 million company and uh, eventually got into being an estimating manager for Pacific Cabinets and we ended up getting up over $10 million and currently we're looking at doing about $18 million. The future looks even brighter as we are gearing up to do probably upwards of 20 million in the next few years. My role in the shop is to streamline and make more efficient what is at its core a custom product being productionized. There's a sequence that needs to be applied to each work order, whether it's cut, CNC'd, uh, a table saw, what's the best way to achieve your budget. Uh, your production deadlines, is to set all that up. So the shop process really starts from a file given by the engineering department which optimizes the materials, tells them how, how many sheets of which material to, to select out of the warehouse. The material handler goes out into the warehouse and stages the, the project or, the, or that phase of the project and, and accumulates the material, brings it into our main production warehouse where the saw, the sawyer, cuts it up um, as it's cut up, it gets a barcoded label put on the, on the part, which identifies that part for the specific job, the specific cabinet, and even the specific part within the cabinet. Uh, from there, everybody can look at that part and understand what they need to do with it as far as process. The next process in the shop is the edge bander, where the edging is put on, the finished edges, so to speak, is put on to the parts based on the instructions on the label. Uh, that makes the part the finished size, is what we call it. From the edge bander, it gets stacked in a certain order. Uh, it goes then to machining, and then our CNC machining centers, which we have two, and depending on what kind of a part it is, it goes to one machine or the other. Gets the holes drilled in for the hardware, uh, drawer slides, hinges, it gets the dados put in for the back, it gets the notch for the toe kick. All of those machining processes uh, get done in, in a matter of a few seconds in the machining process. The advantage of that is that we can use a special screw that holds better in, in the composition board and it also locates our hardware in the correct spot, which eliminates adjustments in the field. It makes it easier to shop to locate and install the hardware and the hardware is put on prior to when the cabinet is put together or assembled as we call it which makes it easier to put a drawer slide on or a hinge or something onto a panel versus crawling inside of a cabinet on your knees installing that piece of hardware. All the vertical parts go to two different machining centers. All of the horizontal parts go to a, what we call a dowel inserter. It drills, inserts the glue, and then inserts the dowel into all the horizontal parts. And then from that process, the, the cabinet gets squeezed together in what we call a cabinet clamp or case clamp. Once the cabinet gets through the case clamp, it's very quick because the doors are already pre-hardwared. The doors can just be screwed onto the cabinet box, the drawers are slid in, um, the cabinet is cleaned, and then it's wrapped. And along that process, there is a barcoded label that also uh, creates a ship list. So once the cabinet is wrapped 
and, and cleaned and wrapped. It actually gets put onto a truck, it's scanned, and then that creates a ship list and we know exactly what parts and pieces are on every truck. So every cabinet, every countertop, every part gets a scanned barcode that allows us to deliver that load to an installer and give them a bill of lading with every part on the truck. In August 2016, we built a new manufacturing facility for our custom department and our solid surface line. It's about 20,000 square feet, which doubled our current capacity. Our new shop is layout in somewhat of a fork. We're starting at the saw. It can either move to the CNC or v Groover, and each lane or spoke would be a solid surface line or a custom line. This terminates at our shipping prep area, which once products are manufactured, they're prepped for shipping and loaded onto trucks. The saw is the point of origin in which all things come. It's our pace setter. So when engineering turns in their work order, we cut the panels for assemblies, parts, whatever is necessary, first from the saw. This effectively cuts the sheet goods into blanks uh, that can then be machined on our machine center. The CNC in the custom building is very dynamic. It's used in a large variety of ways. It does rudimentary things. It applies holes in uh, geometry based off reference. It allows us to control precision and provide a volume of parts to our assemblers. That's predictable. Our CNC operators are also programmers. Uh, in the custom building, they're largely responsible for new things, things we haven't done before, and inventive ways of achieving products. We also use it to maximize efficiency uh, and uh, take some of the complexity out of the skill at the assembly level. The V-Groover applies what's called a miter fold to a drop edge. Once the miter fold is applied on a, uh, off the V-Groover, we put it on our tilt table and apply our substrate. This makes it very quick. Uh, doing sinks in solid surface is also very quick. It also happens after the V-Groover. Once the substrate is on the solid surface, it's simply polish and prep for shipping. Our custom line is responsible for anything we've done or have not done. If it's purple plastic has your name written in it, they can handle it. If it's a cabinet, we run it through our production line. If it's not a cabinet, our custom department's responsible for it. We like um, self-motivated um, people to come work for us uh, who are as excited about growing and being successful as we are as a company. We care a lot about the community and we appreciate loyalty and we want to take care of our employees. One of the missions of the company in the, in the beginning was to employ uh, local people so that they had a, a different industry that they could go into other than agriculture. People see what we can do from a service standpoint. Um, I mean, frankly, you know, we're not building rockets, we're building cabinets. And, and to some extent, everybody builds a similar product if they meet you know, the AWI standards. Um, but the difference, I think, that where Pacific Cabinet stands out is our customer service, not only our quality but in, in the product, but our quality in customer service, and just the problem solving that we can provide an end user or a client because of our many years of experience. You know, there's a couple things that make us different than other cabinet companies. Uh, one would be obviously our remote location, which both is an advantage and a disadvantage. The advantages are, you know, that we can get good, hardworking people that understand the quality of life. The disadvantage is just trucking and, you know, uh, logistics, I guess, is the biggest difficult uh, thing. And then just getting to know clients that are, you know, at some distance away. But I think we've done a pretty good job of overcoming that. And then, you know, the other difference, like I said earlier, is I think we have probably more experience than any other cabinet company as far as our project managers, uh, estimating, uh, administrative. I mean, we have a lot of good longevity in the shop as well, installers. All the way down the line, we have uh, we've maintained a a very good core crew of employees with little turnover.